Today on the channel, I must ask you a question with a retro G.I. Joe, Rakondo. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! channel for another retro gi joe unboxing and review and today on the channel we got an interesting one we got rakondo but for all your rakondo needs and a whole lot more make sure you end up djc collectibles use discount code adolf djc to save eight percent off your entire order gotta get a deal out there and of course we're gonna do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're gonna see where it goes from there and rakondo what is old is new again as we got him for the first time of course as part of the Tiger Force, which is an interesting way to do things. It's not very often, and I think maybe is this the only time it's happened where we actually got the variant before the OG version? It does feel a little bit strange here, but it's nice to get the regular version of Rakondo, but I can see some people passing on this. I can see a lot of people passing on the Tiger Force one in the past as well, uh, but it is an interesting dynamic between the Classified series and this retro line. Now, this retro line used to be Walmart exclusive, now available everywhere, so get it wherever you want to, especially DJ collectibles how about that but there it is old Rakondo doing his Rakondo thing beautiful packaging that brings you back to the 80s of course we remember we love it and it's just upscaled for a new generation is what we got going on we got the classic Joe logo at the top Starburst with Rakondo doing his Rakondo things I wonder if Gung Ho's involved shout out to that Gung Ho Super 7 unboxing the other day we heard all about their love affair in that video the Rakondo there all the same stuff just packaged differently and then of course different color so it is a little different a little different but then on the back get the cross sell of course we got scarlet and duke a part of this got upc GB jabber, jibber jabber down below and then we got the old school file card you know i'm here for a file card let's see what it says about our old boy Rakondo here uh leclerc daniel m oh leclerc one of the best first names i've ever seen oh wait his first name is daniel is that what you said todd thanks todd from the couch with the hot assist there daniel m leclerc uh, roll Jungle Trooper, primary specialty infantry, secondary specialty intelligence. A lot of people want him with the dragonfly. The old dragonfly. Birthplace, Wheaton, Wisconsin. Oh, absolutely beautiful this time of year. Shout out to Wheaton, Wisconsin. Was that just a little north of Eau Claire, Wisconsin, if I'm not mistaken? And his name, last name is LeClaire, so maybe he was born down that way. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, but I do know one thing. Rakondo hates the cold, the, being sick and the weather. He hates both of them. He loves hauling a rucksack through the bush and sweating through his camis. Not his jammies. Easily confused. He doesn't mind sweating through his jammies, but he prefers the camis. That's uh, what I've been told. When he's in the jungle, he owns it. And nobody owns the jungle. The jungle is the jungle. Nature owns the jungle. Uh, but anybody else is trespassing is what he says. So then we have it in different languages. Should I go through and read each language? Probably not. Probably not. But now can I get him out of the package here? And this could be difficult. This could be a little bit challenging here. I'm trying to figure out. This is a lot thicker card. That is one thing that we do know about this line. That uh, there was a lot of complaints, myself included, that this line, uh, the cardboard was not stiff enough. It was not stiff enough. Now it is. There we go. I'm trying to get him out of here. There we go. That's how you do it. That's professional right here. There it is. Old Rakondo. Give the old C you later, but I do love that sturdier, thicker cardboard. I'm here for that. We do get the classic G.I. Joe classified stand. Wish every figure had this. Or let's sell a 10-pack on Hasbro Pulse ringside collectible style. I'd be here for that. But there he is, old Rakondo in the plastic prison. Let's get him out. Let's see what all the fuss is about. And trust me, there's always fuss about Rakondo and his camis. Oh, his camis. All day. There it is. Of course, he's got a big knife. If you're in the jungle, you better have a big knife. You're not going to survive without it. You got snakes. You got all kinds of things out there getting in your way. There's that pistol. There he is. See you later. And he was called a little pistol when he was a kid. I don't know. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. But let's dive in to the accessories. I guess we'll start with the little pistol here. Nice green color, kind of a sandy green color. Goes right there in a holster in his front. He's ready to go. He's ready to unload on anybody out in the jungle if he needs to. 
Then we get the big old weapon here, and I think most people think of this when they think of Rakondo. A little bit gummy, not quite as gummy as some, but there is some gumminess to this. Always love the white wrappings on here. It makes it feel more jungly for some reason, but it is in green. Last time we got it all in black for the Tiger Force. Looks different. Got that big old knife, and that should hold. Yep, he's got a holster on his side, just like the last one. Silver at the top, kind of that greenish, sandy green down below. Looking good, gonna cut through anything in the jungle, including snakes. Yes, yeah, snakes, watch out. Then we get the backpack here. He's got his little, his, uh, he's got his little uh, blanket at the top. He's ready for a nap at a moment's notice. Got a little canteen on the back too, as well. Uh, all kinds of pockets, everything. Obviously, nothing opens up, but it is a backpack. You got to have something like that if you're surviving out in the jungle. Then we get down to Rakondo, and we get down to his hat as well. I forget what the name of this hat is, but it should be called the Outback Jack Memorial Hat is what it should be called because it reminds me of our old friend Outback Jack. But it fits right on his head, looking good. It does really signify Rakondo. When I think of Rakondo, I think of him with the half fold on the hat, looking very, very nice. Once again, that same green color, a little brown strip around the top. Not too shabby, not too shabby right there. But we're not done. Oh, no, we're not done. We got Rakondo. We're going to start with the face. Got that push broom you can set your watch to. Looking extra cool, extra dapper. Looks like he's a little bit longer on one side than the other. And that could just be my eyes taking tricks on me. I don't know. And same thing with his eyebrows. He's got one eyebrow up a little and one's just a little bit down. I'd be interested to hear if yours is like that. Or maybe mine's just off a little bit. I don't know. Got a nice hairdo there. It looks like it's just full of sweat. He's like combing it. It's full of sweat. It's like something out of the Predator or something. Who knows? Uh, but it does have a little bit of a long length on the back. Looking pretty good. Almost like a young Tom Selleck. Uh, and Joe's, some of those Joe guys, some of the best mus uh, mustaches uh, ever. Really ever in any toy line ever. Between the gung-hos, the Rakondos, the bazookas of the world. Man, oh man. Some good looking guys. Some good looking guys, of course. But diving into Rakondo here, you got that tan top there. Got a little insignia on the shoulder here. Of course, you got that spot to hold his pistol in the front. Looking very good. Sleeves are rolled up. It's hot in the jungle, as we know. Got that belt sculpted in. You also got a little, uh, little watch down there on the belt, which is a nice attention to detail. A little bit of camouflage into the tights. And, of course, got the spot to hold the knife, as we do know on the side. Got some black and brown boots there as he treks through the jungle as well. Arms, of course, got a little bit of butterfly there. Arms do go all the way around for us. Got a bicep cut. Double jointed pinless elbows. Hands back, forth, side to side. Head back and forth, up and down, side to side. Yeah, a little bit of ab crunch there. Not, It's not super tight, but it's not super loose either. It's right in the middle. Right in the middle is what it is. You've got waist articulation. Big old splits if you need them. Of course, got those G.I. Joe drop down hips. Got to have those. Thigh cut. Double jointed pinless knees. We're here for that as well. Boot cut, ankles back and forth, side to side. Looking good. It's the usual G.I. Joe Classified series, what we got here with Rakondo. Just in the paint is all this is. So he's got a fresh coat on him here. Uh, move over, Tiger Force. I'm going back to the OG stuff, and I guess we don't need to text the ringside stand. As he's got his own stand. He comes with it. He's ready to go. He's ready to take his last stand in the jungle. But, of course, Rakondo, we've had him before. How do you prefer your Rakondo? Do you like the green and black or you like the brown and brown attack? I guess it's up to you at the end of the day. I could see some people, like I said, that passed on Tiger Force probably picking this up and then some that buy both like me. Obviously, everything's going to be happening. You're going to see the running of the gamut of Rakondo figures and the way people collect him. But I think most people probably uh, prefer this version over the Tiger Force. But you know me, I'm a team Tiger Force guy, so I actually do prefer the Tiger Force ones. Uh, but that's not for everybody, as we do know. But very cool to get Rakondo. An interesting one in the retro card. You get Duke and Scarlet. You think they might go with a more of a heavy hitter, like, I don't know, a Flint? But no, they went Rakondo. Let's teach their own. That's what Hasbro's going to Hasbro sometimes, I guess. But Rakondo, pretty good for what it is, especially if you're an OG Rakondo fan. So there's Rakondo, the retro card, G.I. Joe. What are your guys' thoughts? Pick up, pass, long game, no game, a confused game? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the old notification bells. We got videos every single day. We got two YouTube channels. You get early access to those, images from the videos, dog stuff, pizza reviews, uh, giveaways, you name it. It's all over there on the old Patreon, your best way to support this fair YouTube channel. You can also support channel pressandtees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget, of course, my book, The Complete Guide to the Jax Class Superstar Series. Hardcover exclusive, Barnes & Noble, soft cover over on Amazon. I uh, appreciate all the support with the book. Look, almost 700 pages as we know by now but you can pick that up if you want an autographed copy hit me up sir paul 64 on the x the underscore kyle underscore peterson on threads and on instagram so for Rakondo and jungle camis everywhere i'm kyle see you guys all real soon